GBTV is brought to you by Grand Blank CTE. Open-mindedness, throwing away all preconceptions and bias to make a decision. Why make a decision on something when you don't have enough evidence to conclude anything? People do this every day, when it comes to not reading a certain book because of how the cover looks, not listening to a song because you don't like the person's background, or even buying certain clothes because of how everyone else dresses. Here's what other people had to say about open-mindedness. Open-mindedness is being flexible, being able to think about things from different perspectives. Uh, I think it's just being open to other people. They think differently, they can act differently, they look differently, and it's about learning how to thrive and accept people's differences. Do you think you're open-minded? I think I am open-minded. I feel like teachers who um, have good relationships with their students have to be open-minded because there's so many different personalities. Yeah, I like to think I am. I mean, I, I teach tons of different types of kids. They all look different, they act different, they behave differently. And that's, that's part of my job, right? So I th yeah, I, li I like to think I am. And I think that if a teacher is not very open-minded, it's gonna make their job a lot harder. Consider being open-minded once in a while. It doesn't hurt to try new things. Decca has a meeting today after school in room 401. Senior girls playing powder puff. T-shirt orders are due tomorrow, September 23rd. Seniors, homecoming guest passes are now available until September 29th and due back on September 30th. GSA has a meeting Monday, September 27th after school in room 110. I'm Drewski. And I'm Ricky. And we're asking people to help go. Mr. Andreessen, will you light up my night at homecoming? Oh, what? This is what I see the Um, the answer's no. You're no longer my favorite teacher. What? Will you go on homecoming again? Yeah, man. <laughs> no? <laughs> Does it help if the lights are on? Will you go to Hoko with me? Uh, October 5th. I won't be here, honey. I'm done the 28th. I would love it. Will you, will you go to homecoming with me? Of course I'll go. Yes! I would Can you take a picture it. with me? Sure. That's the prettiest one. Yup, I do. I know. Will you light up my night at homecoming? No. That's, that's so many no's. Hey, Tiff. Tiff. Will you go to Hoka with me? Yeah? Is that, is that a yes? <laughs> <laughs> Will you light up my night at homecoming? Say yes, say yes, say yes, say yes, say yes. 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 W is, W is. Virtual Friday. What's that? It's a remote half day. You guys can find all of your Google Meet links on Google Classroom. Oh my god, it's Virtual Friday! Welcome to the first week of GB Pranks. I'm Brooke. And I'm RJ. And this week we taped $100 to the floor and got some student reactions. Let's go. Yay! 
Yeah, it's a hundred dollar bill. What the heck? 